My name is Tariq Muhammad. I am the chairman of Long Beach Islamic Center, uh, city of Signal Hill, part of Long Beach. Uh, we are here since 2015 officially, and uh, we have a great community here in Long Beach, Muslim community in Long Beach. What happened today? Where are we today? What? 23rd of November last month, we received a threatening letter threatening me and the community. Uh, asking us to leave the country, asking us to uh, prepare your luggage and leave, uh, and also they're gonna, the, the claiming they're gonna do like what the Jews, what the Hitler did to the Jews. We're here today oh, because our, our today, masjid was threatened with letters calling us the children of Satan and telling us that Donald Trump will cleanse and the U.S. of Muslims the, uh, and that um, they'll treat us like Hitler treated the Jews. We're here to show that this community is united and we will not be divided. And Hi, I'm from the Long and Beach that um, there's no way um, that they're going to register Muslim us as Muslims. There's no way that they're going to tell us that we are not welcome in America. We are just a part of America as anyone else, and we are here to stay. So no one can tell us that we're going. We have to leave based on the fact that we're Muslim. So what was the content of the letter? What kind of threat did you the, the threat was that the, the United States was going to cleanse us, that, that um, a lot of derogatory terms towards us, that we, we weren't welcome here, that we're the children of Satan, and that basically the biggest threat was comparing it to Hitler, how treated the Jews, that's how we would be treated here as Muslims. This is unacceptable. There's no way that this community is going to allow Muslims to be treated that way. So what happened today? The, the rally we have a rally with interfaith organizations, civil rights organizations, showing that Long Beach is united and we will never be divided. And we all stand in solidarity together against hate and all hate crimes. So who was here today? We have the Long Beach United Care, at South Coast Interfaith Council, CCEG, Jay, and also um, other civil rights organizations and interfaith groups. And what's your message to the rest of the population? Our message to the population is that nobody has to love us as Muslims. Nobody has to read the Quran or become a Muslim or even come and visit us. All, they, all that we ask is that we be respected as humans and all that we ask of Trump is that he respect the Constitution and uphold the Constitution. That's the only thing that his, he's supposed to do. He does not have to like us as a faith group. All are welcome. All are free. Don't give in to bigotry. All are welcome. All are free. Don't give in to bigotry. All are welcome. All are free. Don't give in to bigotry. I'm so honored to be here to stand with everyone. You know, we are living through a very difficult time where we are being tested. Well, we will step, stand up and we will issue the words that love trumps hate, yes. that we are all together. We will not be divided. We will not, we will not you know, we will not take, you know, divide and go against each other. Our Muslim brothers and sisters are part of this great fabric that makes America so great. You know, in these difficult times, I began to think about, you know, when have we, has this happened before? And I realized, I, I looked through some things and I just wanted to say, you know, that there are two states, two people that I wanted to mention. One was during the, the darkest days of the Second World War, and uh, uh, what, what, what happened was that Albert Camus wrote, and, and I just take one statement, he said, in the midst of winter, I found within me an invincible summer. 
Well, we are in winter in this country, but we are here together because we have found an invincible summer. We are together. Si se puede, yes we can. 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 Si se puede, be divided. The people united will never be divided. The people united will never be divided. My name is Samuel Mohammed. I am a student at Long Beach City College and I go to this mosque. Um, we did a rally today um, in spirit of you know hate crimes that are going around and we want to kind of prevent that from continuing so we decided to you know uplift the spirit of the community and go ahead and go through you know different churches and different synagogues to, uh, invite them to come over to you know sit with us and and be a part of you know our beautiful community my name is Latrina Moore and I'm a community member here in Long Beach and I attend the Long Beach Islamic Center um, we got a letter of hate um, from someone um, and it stated that uh, they wanted us to be punished like the Jews were punished during Hitler and we as a community organized um, with LB United and many other councils uh, in Long Beach including the Islamic Center of Long Beach and we decided to have a peace rally, a rally of um, different faiths and interfaiths and a lot of community members here in Long Beach so we decided to have a rally and it came out great. At one point, the KKK did uh, come to Signal Hill. In fact, when I first got elected to city council almost 20 years ago, someone gave me a picture of a Klan rally on top of the hill. And I say that most importantly for everyone to look around you and see how things have changed and things have changed because people recognize there's a need for change and people recognize there's a need for inclusion this country has thrived and survived and, and prospered because we got rid of the chains of oppression This country is great because we got rid of all of the hate. I would say our message is that we're here united, um, not divided. Um, America is made up of immigrants and different faiths and religions. It's in our constitution to practice how we want to practice. That's why it's the United States of America. So I feel that the message that I need to send to um, people of youth and, you know, people in general is that you know, everybody, you know, we're all one people and we're all one community. And if we let this happen, we say, oh, okay, you know, it's not, it's not enough to kind of get us to move. We're going to lead this country towards racism. We're going to lead this country towards hate and towards bigotry. And we have to start stopping it from now. We don't want our children to grow up in a, in a racist you know, bigot community and, and having people hate on them just for being, you know, of, uh, you know, African-American descent or Egyptian descent. I know I definitely grew up with a lot of people who have criticized me for wearing a scarf and I, I don't, for me, it made me grow up and be strong, but I don't want my, you know, descendants to come in and deal with this. I want them to live in a, in a world of love and a world of peace. So I feel like we should start now. This is the day, today is the day to start a new page in our lives. Salamu alaikum.